Hello Taurus and welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome. And cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. This is a safe place for everyone. No judgment, only love and respect for one another. Now, as I was saying, because this is a general love reading, the roles can always be reversed, Taurus. They can always be flipped. So, Tarot is supposed to be easy. And after so many years of doing tarot, um, Taurus, I always say that it's supposed to be super mega easy in obtaining insight, clarity, or just confirming what you know to be true. Okay, so just take what resonates, whatever does not resonate, you know, uh, that's not part of my story, just toss it out. So in saying that, Taurus, let's get straight into it. Let's explore the energy around your heart space. For well, Taurus, please, let's do this. Um, and also, Taurus, I have decided to uh, open up again the comments. Um, I do close them for uh, a while. Um, the, well, you know, the, some people were, were not being nice to each other, so I do close that. So I am reopening the comments. Um, so yeah, let's just be mindful to keep it respectful for everyone here, Taurus, okay? I deeply appreciate you being here. So let's do this. I absolutely love Taurus energy. What is happening, please? around Taurus, their heart space. Is there anyone that you're thinking about the most, Taurus? You know, even if you're not connecting with anyone at the moment, or there's someone you're thinking about and like, oh, they're still in my heart space. Let's get some insight. For the collective watching this, for my lovely Taurus, please. One of the strongest star signs I know. What's going on, please? Very resilient. You can go through hell and back and you're like, Oh yeah, like you probably just have a scratch on you, <laughs> like you've got nothing probably. Let's see, Taurus. What is going on? Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. We got some highlighted messages for you. So before I look at the bottom of the deck, what do we have? Oh, what happened here, Taurus? What's going on? All right, so the Four of Cups is Cancer, and we have the Hermit uh, Major Arcana for Virgo here. Ooh, so I'm really thinking at the moment that if there is a particular person, Taurus, on your mind. If you think that they're still taking residence in your heart space, you are not talking to them. No. That Four of Cups is showing at the moment that... Uh, I'm kind of feeling that you're more disappointed because you know that there was potential for this. Maybe they, that person pulled the plug on this connection and now it's like, well, that was a missed opportunity. Why did they do that? Hmm. Let's see. That is a bit of a energy of being sad, despondent, or even depressed here as well. I don't feel like all is lost though, Taurus, um, because we do have, well, as you can see, the universe is presenting you with a cup. Something's happening here. Um, and that Hermit card here can show maybe there's a bit of self-imposed isolation. Maybe, Taurus, the world has become lately a little bit too loud, a bit overstimulated, and it's almost like you just want to stay home. Uh, you don't really want to go out. Now, as you can see, because this is the, mod the modern witch tarot, um, we've got someone here, you know, the wise sage, is either closing or opening up a laptop. Now, I'm inclined to say that, well, you're kind of opening and closing. It's almost like, oh, you know, what's going on in the outside world? But I feel here that you're good on your own. That's what's happening at the moment. Um, you've really gone within. It's about the introspection, a bit of soul searching here. And I feel like maybe perhaps some of you did not get 100% closure um, with a past person, though. But I want to add more to this. Let's see. Bottom of the deck. Oh, okay. I didn't expect this. We have the beautiful Knight of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Ooh. Now, knights represent messages and changes. In this instance, it's of the romantic change. Matters of the heart. Emotions here. I do see someone here presenting you with a cup of love. This is also an apology card. The page and the knights for me is always, and sometimes even, you know, the justice card for me is all about offering an apology, but it has to be sincere. And I do feel this is kind of, it's emotionally rooted. I'm sorry that I did this. I'm Oh, what's going on here? This is about feeling romantic. It's also gifts being sent to you, tokens of love, something sentimental. It's like someone that you know knows how to pull on your heartstrings, though. But the thing is, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, no one should play you for a fool, Taurus. Um, <laughs> the worst thing they can do is underestimate a Taurus. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is getting a lot more clearer, this message. 
Let me put these here. So I always run out of room. No wonder someone's going to apologize to you because we have the Ten of Swords ruled by Gemini. As you can see here, we have someone, well, you know, metaphorically here, they've got Ten Swords in the back, but this person's looking at their phone. So perhaps this person in the past gave you that one text message, that one phone call that ended everything, or maybe you found something out here as well. So Taurus, you're feeling quite cheated by this person, by the situation, how it ended. There was, I'm already seeing that there was potential and they pulled the plug on this. Yeah, you're feeling as if like the moment Taurus when you needed love the most, they just disappeared. So yeah, I don't blame you. Um, you could be a little bit apathetic towards this person. Like, you know, the t-shirt of this person says over it. See? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see? It's over it. It's like, yeah, what do you want now? Ooh. I don't blame you, Taurus, um, for feeling this way. Although, Spirit is saying to keep your eyes and your ears open because there's an opportunity coming your way. I do see this person here offering you an apology about this. They know. They know here that they betrayed you, though. We have the King of Cups, Scorpio Energy. Could also be a Pisces and a Cancer. Um, this is someone here that held back in the past. This is what's happening here. Um, they held back in the past. They weren't entirely opening up or being truthful about their true thoughts and feelings about you. But one thing here, which is really weird, is that this person really, really loves you. They're coming back as... Well, the, see, the message here is very knight energy, but ultimately they're embodying the King energy. Male or female does not matter. This person really loves you though and yes if you want to roll your eyes and laugh please do <laughs> because their actions and their feelings clearly they didn't match um now we do have the nine of pentacles that is virgo energy i'm seeing here um sorry i think that was on an angle there you go i'm clearly seeing that for some of you you are 100 percent single but you're very very independent you're good on your own. Um, of course, you're good with someone else, but you're also good on your own. That's why I say no one should underestimate you. Um, yeah, you're building your empire here. Some of you are thinking of becoming self-employed or are already self-employed. Um, it's also showing here you're focusing on your studies, your career, your finances, your dream life. You are on the right path, though. But I'm really seeing here, it's like, oh, should I be single? Continue on my life path. Focus on me. Or... Do I actually entertain this conversation? Because we have the Two of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. I see that you're very busy, very busy bee here, really trying to juggle life. And now it's like, hang on, now I've got to juggle this person coming back in my life? Mm, not sure. Mm, Wheel of Fortune. Now, you are in here. You may be dealing with some fixed signs here, perhaps. A fellow Taurus. We have um, Leo, Aquarius, and we have also um, Scorpio. It's a card of destiny where the wheel turns in your favor. Now, unfortunately, what your person did here in the past made you feel that you were actually literally at the bottom of the wheel. It sucks. It hurts. Um, but now they want some change here with you. This is where it gets interesting, though. I don't know if you actually even trust this person anymore. My Lord. What did they do? I'm not really liking their energy, to be honest. Um, Nine of Wands is Sagittarius energy. Yes, you've got your guards up. Your walls are all the way up. It's just like that form of self-protection here. You don't trust this person. Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. Clearly, there's been some lying, cheating, stealing. Something sneaky happened behind your back here, Taurus. Um, because sometimes it's not in this particular um, card, but other times in the Seven of Swords, they do show a fox there where someone's very cunning. You know, they're doing stuff behind your back here. Um, now, the devil here. Major Arcana there for uh, Capricorn. There was perhaps something toxic here. It's a card of extremes. Too much of something was going on here. Um, it's also a card of temptation. Was your person tempted by something or someone else here? Because inevitably, inevitably, I'm trying to say that word, inevitably, um, you were, you know, you got the raw end of the deal and you got those ten swords in your back. That totally sucked here. What happened? Now, five of pentacles, that's your energy right there. That's Taurus energy. So how do you feel by this person unloved, abandoned? Like I said, when you needed them the most, they just up and they left. Perhaps they ghosted you, they did a runner, they blocked you or rejected you. Like I said, it was that one phone call, that text message that ended everything. Mm, so there are abandonment issues. Yeah, Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. Listen, your person is feeling bad about it, but like, is that enough? I don't think it will be for you. I mean, we still have to get all the cards on the table though. Um, but yeah, you are feeling quite disappointed by their actions, by how things panned out as well. Let's see, what do we have for you, Taurus? Let's get some clarity. Hopefully we can lighten um, this energy here as well. 
What do we have? The Empress. There you are, Taurus energy. You are very successful. If you don't feel it that way, Taurus, you need to start believing it because the Knight of Pentacles is the minor arcana of the Empress. You are on the right path. So your person, how do they see you? Someone very abundant, successful. They hold you in high regard. Again, it doesn't make sense. It's very jarring because of their, their actions here that they did in the past, though. Bear in mind, this person may want to give birth to this connection once more, though. I do feel, though, because I did see that Nine of Wands, that you're keeping them at arm's length. It's like, don't get too close to me. You may talk to me. <laughs> I'll allow that. But don't get too close. Don't touch me, for example. Um, yeah, so it's a very abundant card. It is actually the most richest abundant card in the entire deck. For some of you, there may be children involved here. Um, perhaps, Taurus, you have a desire to have children as well. Hmm. King of Wands? Leo energy, Knight of Wands. Ooh, so we've got all fire energy. So this person, you could literally be dealing here with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Oh, okay. Now, I don't always get player-like energies with that Knight of Wands. It's a bit unfair to always say, eee, that's a player. In this instance, I'm kind of getting it a little bit. Maybe your person was a bit overly flirtatious, loves getting attention, has a bit of trouble with their ego as well, can be a bit of a hothead, a little bit impulsive as well. I do see that your person also was kind of ambitious here as well. That is the Entrepreneur card as well. Um, but they're looking to the past. If you see these Knights, they're all going to the past. This person's thinking a lot about what they did. Versus you, you know, you're kind of looking a little bit to the future, but you're looking at the present. So I'm getting more grounded energy here from you. Yeah, they're going to take action. I just want you to be a little bit prepared, especially if you don't want to hear from this person. You don't have to. Block them if you want. Um, disappear. <laughs> you don't have to entertain this conversation, Taurus. Just be prepared because we do have knights and they're all coming towards you, though. Hmm. Yeah, Ace of Swords. So what is their intention? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they want to give you clarity as to why this happened, why they gave you those Ten of Swords, why you're in that Four of Cups energy. Mm -hmm. This is a mental breakthrough. It is clarity, starting on a clean slate. Um, listen, I don't see they want to repeat the same mistakes from the past. The only thing that concerns me is that, okay, they did it so freely and... You know, it's almost like you're questioning, well, who's to say they won't do it again, for example? I, I totally get it, Taurus. Absolutely. I mean, I'm on your side here, and this is your reading. Um, but they do want to, uh, basically, if there's been any, um, what's that word, um, like assumptions, there was no clarity here, you didn't get the time to ask the questions or clear the air, this will be the time, should you want to. Because a reconciliation could be to literally pick up the pieces and move on together. It could be for closure, it could be for peace here. So what is the beating out of your reading, Taurus? We have the Six of Pentacles. That is your energy. Yep, Taurus energy right there. Perhaps your person in the past was giving too much attention to someone else um, or to something and not you. The only thing that you ask in a relationship, Taurus, you're not asking for a lot. And what you are asking for is free. It doesn't cost your person anything. It's just equal give and take. I do feel that they actually want to now. Because the sixes are all about now peace, balance, and harmony. You know, restoring all that negativity, all the basically all the crap, um, the garbage that they produced here. Hmm. I see here that career, your career and finances is your main focus here. I see a lot of you really um, working hard to pay off any loans, any debts here as well. Maybe your person is also financially responsible for other people um, too. Hmm. The hanged man, Pisces energy introspection reflection here you will be taking your time i don't see you jumping in to reply to them um you're certainly not going to go with open arms and say all is forgiven uh, certainly not this is about seeing things from all different angles so during this time apart taurus has your person been thinking about you a lot absolutely they have yeah they've come to the realization what they did was very shitty they know that um but is it enough is it, can this be overcome be very interesting when i clarify these cards now we have High Priestess, um, again, more um, Pisces energy here. I feel like your intuition is pretty spot on about this person. I feel like even if there wasn't closure or things just didn't add up, maybe it's like one and one was four when it should be two. Um, yeah, your intuition, it may be tugging at you right now or just doing this, like saying, hey, pay attention, Taurus. Um, this person's coming back, but I think you know the truth of this situation. And your intuition will be telling you really which never leads you astray, um, should you entertain this conversation or not. Um, so this is about secrets here as well, but it's my quiet card. In other words, you don't really have to do much, Taurus. This is when secrets, knowledge, information, a very important conversation comes to you and it provides clarity as well. 
I do feel your person's a little bit secretive. Well, I'm very interesting to see why. Seven of Wands, Leo energy. Your boundaries are very tight, Taurus. You're very discerning, very picky, which is not a bad thing. Um, who you let into your circle, who you allow to re-enter your energy, your circle, around your family and your friends and all that. Yeah, your walls are very up. Yeah, this is... Oh, we just knocked the camera. Sorry, my apologies. Uh, talk with my hands too much. So, yeah, this is kind of when you're being assertive as well. You're speaking your truth, your needs, your wants, your desires, and especially what you are not ready to put up with anymore. So your person does know that you're very defensive, but this is also fighting for what you believe in. So your person, I have to admit, may, they're surprising me. They may actually fight for you. They may not take this, you know, lying down. They probably won't accept no for an answer. We end with the tower. Major Arcana there for Scorpio. Ooh. Yeah, I think you're about to bring the tower down on them as well. Page of Wands. Okay, we've got some messages coming your way. The Queen of Cups. Okay, so we've got the ideal match here. We've got the King and the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, okay. So what is it that they're going to do? We end here with the fact that, <laughs> um, yeah, that's already telling me that you were blindsided by what happened in the past. Yeah, I thought like they abruptly, impulsively ended this. You may actually reject them as well. Um, another thing that's important, they will be sending you a message. And again, that's just going to shock you. I honestly feel here that you're going to get a message out of the blue from this person. So if you think this was done and dusted, um, well, on their end, certainly not. Yeah, they're going to express a lot of love and emotions, but they will be offering you something. Start over again. You know, let's commit to each other once more, for example. But I do feel that either A, you will reject this person 100%. So boom, you're dro dropping the tower on them. Or you are going to take your time because trust is a major issue here, um, Taurus. Let's see. Yeah, it's almost like uh, some of you may be thinking the nerve of this person to come back to you um, after what they did. There's been a lot of hurt here. Yeah, I, 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 I don't blame you, Taurus. Not at all. There's that Queen of Cups again. Okay, this person, I'm definitely seeing they do want to take care of you emotionally as well. But you've been doing a good job of actually taking care of yourself. So, yeah, see, there's that Ten of, cup, uh, ten of Cups, <laughs> Ten of Swords. Hmm, let's see. Let's clarify. Yeah, I saw that Six of Cups. Yeah, they may ask for a reconciliation. Whoa, oh my God. I said I saw the Six of Cups and it just literally came flying out. All right, I have to show you. They're going to ask for a reconciliation. Yep. Take that as a very big highlighted message. Ooh. Okay, so that hardly ever happens to me, but that was weird. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's move on. What else is at the bottom of the deck? All right, we've got the King of Cups. Says, yeah, it's been wanting to show up twice now. This person does love you, though. That's why, yeah, they'll be asking for the reconciliation. Now we've got the King of Cups looking to the future now. Yeah, ooh. Yeah, but you don't trust them. I'm going to tell you why, because I feel here that... And also, remember, you can flip the roles here. Um, it's because I walked away from you. Pisces energy. I feel like perhaps I'm also breadcrumbing you for too long, giving you that false hope that, yep, it's going to take off and one day we'll do this, we'll do that. We've got that Seven of Swords, but yeah. And the Justice, there's my Apology card as well. Notice that the scales are slightly off balance, but this is their intention, is that they do wish to balance the scales, right all the wrongs that they have done. We've got the Lovers, Gemini Energy and the Star, Aquarius Energy, Five of Pentacles. Mmm. That's you. That's Taurus energy. Oh, I think you're over the drama, Taurus. Because you'll always go back to the fact that they left you. That's the thing. Yeah. Let's push these cards up. Let's clarify the Empress, your energy. The Hermit, again. Virgo energy. Yeah, you're doing very good on your own, Taurus. You are definitely not prepared to put up with any more BS, baggage, and all that from other people. You've definitely become a lot more wiser. Absolutely. Yeah, no, you're you're very you're in a position of power here. You know, the, the, the hermit lights the way. But now you realize, hang on a second, I've always had the light within me. So you're definitely a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. Ooh, let's clarify that King of Wands. Yeah, see what they want? Ace of Wands. They want a passionate new start here. 
So the main, you know, if we had to really summarize all of this, Taurus, are you willing to give this person another chance? Because it's going to be different for everyone. Um, and of course, yes, it is. Of course, it is up to you. Do not have to put up with this. Um, I just feel that your energy is a lot more stronger than theirs. That's clarifying that Knight of Wands. The Tower. Again, it's going to be a massive shock when they come back. See, the Tower is either my breakup or my shake-up card, my shocking card, or my shocking surprise card. So I do feel here that their arrival, arrival I said re-rival, <laughs> their arrival is going to be quite shocking. The only thing is here is that, because I've seen the Tower twice, is that the only thing is it's like you're, take, you're not even going to take them at face value. It's almost like, okay, you're here, but you'll probably give that Tower to me again. Um, so, yeah, I, I really understand. I understand where you're coming from. Let's clarify that Ace of Swords. They want to give you clarity. There's that King of Wands again. We've got it here, and now we've got it here. So the King and the Queen of Wands, notorious, they take action towards what they believe in, what they're passionate about, what they love, which is you, of course. Um, again, see how they're looking to the past, past actions that they've done. So it's almost like they're looking at that Ten of Swords. So they're going to be looking at what they've done to you. They're going to explain themselves. Hmm. Okay, so they've got their work cut out for them. They shouldn't have never done that, but they did. Okay. Everyone has a choice. Clarifying that Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now, the Queen of Swords, notorious. Sometimes she is separated, sometimes she is divorced. Worst case scenario, she is also widowed as well. Um, it's almost like what your person did in the past, you're seeing it as quite cold as well, that perhaps, you know, their energy or their personality was like hot, cold, hot, cold um, as well. You have a lot to say, Taurus, as well. I feel like there's a lot inside of you that you didn't have the chance to say in the past, but now you do. Um, I'm getting that some of you are quite frustrated, very angry with this person. And I, that's the thing, again, I don't blame you because what they did here was just... Uh, well, I'm trying to find a new word. It, it sucked. You definitely did not deserve that, Taurus. Um, but we've got communication. There's like that important conversation that needs to happen here. Well, at least they think that needs to happen. Um, you don't have to entertain this person. Clarifying the Hanged Man, what do we have? Three of Swords. Libra Energy. Yeah, so clearly this person broke your heart. That's why they were taking their time coming back. Um, because they have a guilty conscience. Because if someone does not have a guilty conscience, they come running back almost within the day, right? Um, but they know here that they broke your heart. And yes, they broke their heart as well. Now, this third party literally could be actually infidelity. Maybe your person chose someone else. Could be a family, like a mother-in-law, father-in-law, brothers, sisters, friends. Um, could be, uh, you know, whoever they work with. I was trying to find that word, you know, like co-workers. Is that the word? <laughs> I'm lost for words today, which is weird. I'm almost, I feel like this because I feel, Taurus, that you're going to be lost for words. It's like, really? You're back now? <laughs> Why? Um, so this is about heartbreak. Yeah. Again, I, you know, it's when you needed love the most, they just, they left. And that, no, 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 that's not good. You don't deserve that. Clarifying the High Priestess is the Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy. So, yeah, I'm really feeling that at the moment they made you feel like an option in the past. And that's why you felt so unloved by this person. They may have had options. Your intuition is telling you that there is more to this story. Um, I feel like they do want to give you that clarity, but um, it's in their best interest to tell you the truth because the High Priestess is she who already knows. Um, mm. Yeah, there's options here. A bit of indecisive. You may actually, for some of you, not all of you, um, Taurus, you actually may not know, know what to do. It's like, I have no idea what to do. Do I respond to them or do I just block them? Wow. Let's clarify that seven of wands. Uh, for a pentacles, Capricorn energy. So as you can see here, uh, you're very guarded. And who can blame you, right? Now, maybe, Taurus, for some of you, Maybe some of you, you, it's been a bit hard to let the past go, to let this person go. Certainly, your person has not let you go. But I see here that you're kind of keeping your cards, your heart very close to your chest. You really don't want this person to know everything that's going on in your life. And nor should you. No one has to know everything that's going on in your life. Having that privacy and those boundaries is actually pretty good. It promotes more respect as well. Um, yeah, your true thoughts and feelings, your next action, you're not going to really reveal it. So it's almost like whatever they ask you, you'll answer, but you didn't really give them an answer. <laughs> it's like you're scoping them out a bit. Um, yeah, but again, your person, they're actually not revealing to anyone how they're going to make this move to you. It's going to be quite shocking here as well. Let's clarify the ending. Whoa, look at this. We're clarifying the Ace of Pentacles here with the Ace of Pentacles. 
Wow. That's just uh, double confirming, solidifying the message here, Taurus, of what they want to offer you. So it's not flimsy. It's not like, oh, I don't know what to do. Do I offer Taurus a solid beginning or not? No, no. They want a brand new beginning with you. What else? Oh, got the Empress. Yeah, we've got the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of regret over what happened, but this is the thing. I don't even know, Taurus, if you do want to give them a chance because we've got that Ten of Swords again. I think that you're too hurt here. We've got the Magician here, Gemini, Virgo, and there you are, the Empress. So we start with the Empress and we end with the Empress. So this all falls on your shoulders. You're in a position of power and you get to dictate how this will go. Um, the Magician can show maybe in the past there was some form of manipulation and you're going to be very quick to pick up if there's any type of manipulation um, here as well. They do want to create something new with you, um, but some of you may actually end up well, ending this once and for all and just say, you know what, I, I don't want that Ace of Pentacles. No. Ooh, very powerful reading. Now, let me just see what would the Romance Angels want you to know. Oops, just, this gets quite messy here. Let's put this in a neat pile. Let's see. Let's get some, let's get some messages directly for you. Yeah, I split the deck. Look at that. Very soon. This is going to happen quite soon. Yep. You see, you've got some swords and they do represent um, weeks. Mm, very interesting, isn't it? So what's at the bottom of your deck? Yeah, forgiving and learning. Yeah. Literally have someone there begging for forgiveness, though, and it's almost like you're like, yeah, been there, I've heard it before. So mm, keeping an open mind here as well. And um, yeah, playfulness. They need to have more fun. But let's see, what else? Yeah, we've got children here. So yeah, children could be involved. There's a desire to have children, maybe. Um, but this is your person's kind of energy that they want to rekindle. This very six of cups energy. Um, you know, going to back more fun, innocent times when you just met. Hmm. Yeah, we've got loving yourself first. Clearly, you are putting yourself first. That's not selfish, Taurus. Um, honestly, that's self-respect here. Good on you. Finances and career. Yeah, you may be focusing more on your finances, on your career, and you don't want to get distracted by this. Let's see. Yep, getting to know each other all over again. This is kind of like the conversation that they're trying to manifest here. Okay. For some of you, yes, if you do want to hear from this person, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. They're hoping that you're going to you know, work on the partnership. We've got let go of control issues as well. Allowing the situation to unfold naturally. We've got flirt. Honeymoon, interesting. Pay attention to the red flags and chemistry. Yeah. I think you're going to move very, very slow, Taurus. Some of you are just absolutely prepared to move on into something someone completely new um but some of you actually yeah are going to close the door permanently on this that's going to break their heart but yeah they break your heart here as well um at taurus but just be mindful here that i do see an unexpected message coming from your person it's like boom i'm here can we talk so that's going to come out of left field i'm already seeing that taurus so I will leave this here, Taurus. Thank you for joining me. I do this with a lot of love and enthusiasm. Love Taurus energy. Um, and yeah, if you did resonate, give that um, video a like, a thumbs up. I'm <laughs> trying to do it. Um, it may very well reach another Taurus that needs to hear these messages as well. So I'll see you in the next couple of days, Taurus. Please take care. Bye.